Well, now to our big story this morning. Today is the first day of oyster harvesting season in Alabama waters. Dozens of fishermen just trying to make a living are out on the water right now. Chad Petrie has the story from Dauphin Island Causeway. It's a busy day along the Dauphin Island Causeway because oyster season waits for no man. Dozens of boats were already out in the water before dawn, even before the season officially started on Monday morning. People are just eager to get out on the water, trying to get a good spot, and with the entirety of the state's waters open to oyster harvesting, they could go just about anywhere they wanted to try and get their catch. Nobody knows how good of a season or how bad of a season it's going to be, but everyone getting on the water is trying to stay optimistic. I love it. I've done it all my life. How good or bad a season are you predicting? I hope it's a good one. It's supposed to be a good one. I feel great about it. We got nice weather and the Lord's going to do us up good here this morning. Think of it as a gold rush. Nobody knows how long the season will last. It could last a few days. It could last for several weeks. That all depends on water conditions and how much is harvested and how quickly. Also happening this year, officials with Marine Resources want to improve outreach and education with the oyster tongue and community to help explain the factors that go into deciding how long a season could last. So understanding how those regulations were created, the reasons that they were created can help deal with some of the uncertainty and animus that's around it, but also part of the component of this project is increasing monitoring within these reefs. Increased monitoring means asking fishermen to help collect environmental data. That'll give scientists a better idea of the relative health of local oyster reefs. Along the Dauphin Island Causeway, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.